Welcome to Mr. Brant's fifth grade everyday math review. In this video, we are going to be going over lesson 4.11, which is addition and subtraction of decimals with hundreds grids. And as you can see on the screen here, I've got three different grids. Um, this one has 10 sections, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm not going to count all of them, but this one has 100 squares on it. Now, if you want a bigger review of this, you can go back to Lessons 4.1 and 4.2. Uh, we also do some work with that, um, with, with these grids in those videos. But I'm going to start, and I'm going to shade in one of these 10 sections on this grid. And that, I didn't color that very well, but that is one-tenth of the whole square. And if we're going to write that as a decimal, it would be zero and one-tenth. Now, this grid and this grid are both the same size. So it's one square. If I shade in one column on this grid, like I did on the bottom, it's the same amount. So we could say that that's also one-tenth. Now, earlier I mentioned that one square, or excuse me, that there's a hundred of these squares, so that would be one-hundredth of the whole square. At, and since this one-tenth, one then, can also be written as ten hundredths. One tenth can also be written as ten hundredths. They are equivalent or they're the same. If I was going to write that as a decimal, zero and ten hundredths. For our one hundredth, that would be written as zero and one hundredth. So we're going to use this information as we move on to the next part where we're going to do some, um, we're going to make some representations of some addition problems of decimals that go to the hundredths. The first problem we're going to do is 53 hundredths plus 25 hundredths. And I'm going to start by shading in 53 hundredths. And I know that this 5 is in the tenths place, and that's 5 tenths. And I know that a tenth is one whole column. So I'm going to start it by shading in five columns. One, two, three, four, and five. And I know that this place, the three is in the hundredths place, and one hundredth is a small square, so I'm going to shade in three of the small squares. Okay, now I'm going to move on to my twenty-five hundredths. Again, two is in the tenths place. One column is the same as one-tenth, so I'm going to shade in two columns. And now I'm going to go to my the five five hundredths and shade in five of the squares. One, two, three, four, five. So my blue represents the fifty-three hundredths. The green represents the twenty-five hundredths. And if I put those together, I know that I have um, this column is ten. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy hundredths or seven-tenths, okay, seventy-hundredths or seven-tenths. So I've got my zero decimal seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths. So fifty-three hundredths plus twenty-five hundredths is the same as seventy-eight hundredths. Now that's one way to shade it in, but I don't like shading them in that way. I actually prefer to shade it in this next way, because it, for me, it makes it easier to find the answer. So, for this, I'm going to focus on the tenths place first. So, for 5,300, that's 5 tenths. 
and so I'll get my one tenth two tenths three tenths four tenths and five tenths now I'm going to move on to the other number and do my two tenths now I'm going to move go back to my blue and fill in the hundredths so I've got three hundredths and then from my other number I've got five hundredths One, two, three, four, five. So my colors are, are um, mixed up a little bit, but it makes it easier to find the answer. So I can just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tenths, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths, which again gives me 78 hundredths. Okay, now we're going to move on and we're going to do some subtraction. For my subtraction, I'm going to use the same numbers. And again, I'm going to start by shading in 53 hundredths. So I've got my 53 hundredths shaded in, and I need to take away 25 hundredths. So when I'm representing subtraction using the um, decimal grids, I'm going to, again, I'm going to start with my tenths place, and I'm going to shade in two tenths. So hopefully you can see that okay. I've shaded in two tenths. Now I need to shade in five tenths. And I'm going to start over here with my, or excuse me, I need to shade in five hundredths. I'm going to shade in these three hundredths. And then I'm going to shade in two more hundredths to get to five hundredths. So here's my one tenth two tenths, one, two, three, four, five hundredths. So the green together represents 25 hundredths. Now I'm going to look at the blue that is left over, and that is going to be my answer. So I have two tenths, two tenths, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hundredths. So together, uh, that makes 28 hundredths. So 53 hundredths subtract 25 hundredths gives us 28 hundredths. Okay, our video is getting a little bit long here. Um, I'm going to do two examples for the practice problems, and it's multiplication. And we've got some three digit. We've got two digit by two digit, three digit by two digit, and then it goes to three digit by three digit. And I'm going to start with a three digit by a two digit first. So we'll go with 372 times 54. Remember, we start at the top and go down and from right to left with our traditional and we have to take every number on the top by the ones place first so 2 times 4 is 8 7 times 4 is 28 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 is 14 so I'm done with the ones place and I'm going to move on to the tens place because I'm multiplying by the tens place, I put down my zero. Two times five is 10. Seven times five is 35, plus one is 36. 
3 times 5 is 15, plus 3 is 18. And once I have that done, then I can go ahead and add them up. 8 plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 0 is 8. 4 plus 6 is 10. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 8 is 10. And 1 plus 1 is 2. So that, that gives me an answer of 20,088. All right, let's move on to some three-digit by three-digit, and 259. We're going to take that times 621. So everything's, everything starts the same. We're going to take all the numbers on top times the ones place first. 9 times 1 is 9. 5 times 1 is 5. And 2 times 1 is 2. I'm done with the ones place. So now I'm going to move out to the, the tens place. Because I'm in the tens place, I'm going to put down a 0. 9 times 2 is 18. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And I'm done with the tens place. So now I'm going to move out to the hundreds place. Since I'm multiplying by the hundreds place, I have to put down two zeros. And then I take all the numbers times the hundreds place. Six, or excuse me, 9 times 6 is 54. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 5 is 35. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 3 is 15. And we're going to go ahead, ahead and add up all of those. So 9, 5 plus 8 is 13. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4, plus 4 is 8. 5 plus 5 is 10, 1 plus 5 is 6, and then we have our 1. So we get up the answer with 160,839. Uh, if you stuck with us till the end, I uh, appreciate that. Uh, I know this was a longer one. Um, make sure that you ask your teachers for any help when you get to school tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.